Hello everybody, the One Red Pandy here, and welcome back to another episode of well, Let's Play 4, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. In the last episode, we finished off with the uh, Forest Temple, and we <coughs> actually went around and got a few extra, did the piece of extra side quest, and got a <coughs> more sculptures, and uh, yeah, we are basically here back at Zora's River, because I actually, I have enough more rupees to buy another... <coughs> Magic beam. But this time he needs 100 rupees for one. And I'm actually going to place one here. I'm not. I, I still don't think that I need to actually place one here, but I'm still going to anyways. And alright, I will pause the video and I'll cut until I get to the Lost Woods, which I actually need to go and grab the Mask of Truth because I thought I already got it, but apparently I don't, so. I'll be right back till I get there. Alright, I'm here at the Happy Mask Salesman, and apparently I do, I do need to borrow the Mask of Truth, because I guess when... Cause I thought I had it already, but I guess when we turned to Dolt that we gave it back, so... I got it now, so I will cut until I get to the Lost Woods. Alright, I'm back here in the Lost Woods, and I had to go back and get some bugs. You can get some here in Lost Woods, I just decided not to show it. Like, if you did, like, the same route, you would get to the Sacred Forest Meadow before getting there. Like, there's, like, some grass somewhere, and you can cut that, and there will be bugs in there, so... Like, get to this new area that we haven't actually been to yet in the Lost Woods, I just completely forgot about it. You're gonna need to go almost the same way that you would go to get to the Sacred Forest Meadow, except... Turn left here. You need to go straight like normal. And you go left. Yeah, yeah, these are the grass that I found the bugs in. You go left and you need to go, instead of going to right, you need to go left again. Or I guess not. I think you don't even go straight. I, I kind of thought you had to go straight before going left twice. Let's try that again. Okay, now we go left. Yep. You don't need you don't need to go straight, so what you need to do here is see what the second salesman has to say for us. Yeah, no, it's just like selling, like it's not any upgrades. I'm just gonna get rid of these guys. Oh, he sold Deku... Deku Sticks. One Deku Stick. Wow, that's completely useless. Okay. So here is a... Soft Soil Patch that I'm going to place... A bug in. I should have actually done this at the very beginning, but... Again, I forgot about this area. Go, got another Sculptula. Alright, let's place a magic bean here. Because if you come back as an adult, which I will do later in this part, you'll be able to get another Sculptula. But first, we're gonna go walk around in this grass, and next to these flowers, these butterflies, you will be able to. Yep, fall in a hole. And we are going to equip two masks. Oh, wait. Do I seriously have to come back? You can I guess you can only hold one mask at a time, so... We're just gonna equip this one for now, and... Uh, equip it! What do you- what do you have to say? Oh, my young Deku Scrub brothers say, you have a horrible face! But don't worry, we will reward you with many Deku Nuts! Of course, we will also enable you to carry more of them. Abacadabra! Alakazam! And just like that, we can carry more Deku Nuts. You can hold up to 30. I never actually did this in my, like, every time I, like, I played through this game. I just thought it wasn't worth it, but I, but, I just wanted to show you to you guys. So I guess I have to go back and get that Skull, skull Mask, because you get another upgrade from carrying, bringing the Skull Mask here, so I'll just have to go over there and get it, so I'll be right back again. Alright, I'm back here at this uh, place with the skull masks now, so we're going to equip that next. 
Oh no! They're coming after me! Apparently they love me. Oh, the young big scrub, scrub brother agree. They look exactly like our sacred forest toad. There's an offering from us. Please accept the, these decking sticks. We will also enhance your carrying skills. Abracadabra. Alexander. And just like that, we got more decking sticks. We can carry 30 of them now. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Can't believe I never thought to do that. Okay, so we are actually going to now play... The Prelude of Light. We're gonna come back to an adult and come back here to get that Skulltula that I talked about. I don't actually need to cut all this. So yeah, we're going to be doing like kind of annoying, an annoying side quest that I'm not really a huge fan of. But uh, I'm just gonna get it out of the way. It has to do with the horse and bow and arrow. Alright, now let's play... Then you hit a forest. You might have to pass all of the giants, but... We don't need to take any of the moves. We have to dodge this guy. Okay. Yeah, but I actually do have to take out this guy, guys. Come on. There we go. That is one giant I had to take out. I guess there's also like a hidden secret, another hidden secret you can follow with the that they'll make a hole in the room. I think you just get rupees from doing that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to Lost to Kokiri Forest and back inside. And we're gonna go like, the same way that we as a kid. Keep rolling into things! Why do I do that? Okay, here we go. Now we can go up. And I believe if we walk around, there will be a skull shovel. Oh wait, I think we have to play the Song of Time, I mean the Sun Song, because the Skulltula isn't even there. Yeah, I don't, no wonder it wasn't there, I just didn't think that we still had to play the Sun Song and then up Lost Woods. I just wasted some time there. Yep, I can hear it. That's right, I didn't even have to walk around. Alright, awesome. How many do we have? We need one more to get 50. I don't even know where we can find one. Take, 
And hang on, guys, I, I just need to figure out where to start this, like, next side quest thing, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and the reason why I'm Child Link again instead of Adult Link is because apparently there are a few Sculptulas that I forgot to get as a child, so... Go over here. Or wait. Oh, yeah, it's over here. I'm going to have to equip our bombs real quick. Whoops, wrong button. And you notice you can, you can place the bomb in the middle here. Also need to get out the dense fire. We never actually used this before, so this is the first time I'm showing how to use it. Let's go in the hole. And okay. I think we actually do have to play some song for the sculpture to appear. Oh no, it's still... Of course we have to play some of the I wanted to make sure it's night time. Alright, let's... Use a dense fire here. Whoops. Dang it, I'm done again. So this is what dense fire looks like. When it, when it gets rid of some of the bad until we get closer to Takariko Village. Alright, we are here back next, right next to Takariko Village, and we need to go over here and there's this tree. You get this the tree, you'll hear like the Stone of Agony thing again, and I forgot to equip bomb, so... Let's not forget to do that, and we don't need the dense fire right now, so let's place the bomb right here. Next to press the right button for once. And it makes another one. Here is another small pillow that we can get. Of course, I press the wrong button. Cut again until we get to the Dungo's Cavern, the second dungeon of this game, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back here at the D Dongo's Cavern, and there's actually a special that I haven't gone here yet. I could actually have gone here a lot sooner than I did in the middle, but of course the Demos attack got me. We have to wait for this big, like, step, this, uh, pillar thing to rise up, and of course, I missed that. I'm gonna have to wait again for it. You know what? I'm gonna take out the demons. Of course it's not gonna There we go. Make sure I aim right this time. There we go. We actually- Oh crap, oh crap. I didn't need to jump across. Ugh. Wasting so much time. Okay, now, I need to stay on here and not jump around. It's gonna take us to the second floor. I know about 
about that? Oh, come on! Are you serious? It's kind of hard to aim, aim that jump right. When I'm having so much issue. Okay. There we go, just to do a jump attack, jump attack. Now let's go to like this room. Kakariko Village. Alright, we're here at the Temple of Time because uh, I thought I was going to Kakariko Village, but I just figured I would just get this, next, this other special right here before going to Kakariko. Because if you go this way, this is a way I've never actually been to. And technically, you're not supposed to see this cutscene until like you're ready to beat the game, but. There is a sculpture in this area that you can actually get right away. Yep, looks pretty ominous. This is the Ganon's Castle. Very creepy. So, uh, you can actually go there because there's no bridge. Here we go. This way. Yeah, there's a sculpture here. Right, and now I'm gonna cut until I get to Kakariko Village. All right, we are back here at Kakariko Village at night time, and I think we have to hook shot across these houses. Take! 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 Take!
Actually, you know, I'll, I'll be right back one second. Okay, I am back, and uh, to get to where like the, the, the gold sculpture is, we actually have to go up these stairs, and you need to use your, your sculpture sculpt sculpt to hookshot on this building. And we need to hookshot to this building here. Oh, wait. And there is another sculpture. Go. And now we can actually get. Well, we could have gotten the other upgrade before, but we're, we're now going to get another upgrade. And this one, I like a lot. Let's just go over here. Let's have it there, back to normal. Wait. There's another one. The curse is broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. What? The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's the, here's a reward for you. Here we go. This is another uh, heart piece that we can get. So I guess I forgot to, to. That was like the 40th upgrade that we got. Just bomb shoes. So uh, after basically after 50 sculptures don't get anything, any other rewards until you get up to 100 Sculptulas, which I'm still going to try and get all of them, but a lot of people just like decide not to getting, when they get past 50 Sculptulas, it's just, the end result is not worth it, trust me. And uh, yeah, actually I guess we can now go inside this building, oh of course we have to Play the sun song. And now we can go in here and play this game. It's pretty much the same thing as when we were a child, like the first, very first mini game that we played. This is another shooting gallery. So we actually have like. They're like 20 rupees, so I hope I don't screw this up. I'm just gonna be really careful. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Wonderful! Bravo! Perfect! Here's a fantastic present! And just like that, we get another big, a big curver. Now we can hold 40 arrows. I'm surprised I actually got that the first try, unlike the first shooting gallery game that I did. And, uh, okay. So what's the... Uh, I'll be right back. Anyway. No. Alright, so we are here on Epona and next to Hyrule Castle, and we're going to start that annoying, he's like, side quest that I mentioned earlier, is we're going to get another empty bottle, which is the last one, and it is very annoying. We basically have to capture these, a bunch of Poes that are around Hyrule Field, and this first one is very easy, you just need to go straight. Yep, it's right there. And it took a few hits, but uh, now it falls down and becomes a ghost, and we have to get out of Pona and talk to the ghost, and we defeated a Poe. You want to catch a ghost in a bottle? Yes, I do. And alright, and that is our first Poe that we need to catch, and I'll be right back until we get to the next one. Okay, so we're here just like right next to Long Long Ranch, and we need to... Okay, here it is. There we go, only took two heads, don't why I accidentally hit a third arrow, but... That one was another easy one. Vita the Poe, catch a ghost in the bottle, there we go. And I will see you guys too when I find another one. Alright, so we are here, kind of close to 
Hyrule Castle and one of these bushes we need to touch and we need to take out the toad that way. So I'm going to try to go through like each one and try to aim myself just try to make it easier on me. And apparently it's not that one, those two. So it must be this one on the left here. Okay, here it is. There we go, awesome. And let us talk to this bell. And let's catch it in the bottle. So now, unfortunately, the most annoying thing about this side quest is we have all three bottles full of pose so we're gonna have to go somewhere to give someone to use pose to and I'm gonna show you where that is. Back into the castle. Let's go in this way. I haven't actually been in here like as an adult link yet. Well, I technically have off screen just to refill health, but this room is different. There's not as much pots here, but there is this creepy looking guy. Oh, you are quite an energetic, young, energetic young young man. You're brave and handsome too. Hey, hey, hey. Your name is Link, isn't it? Hey, hey, hey. Don't be surprised. I can read people's minds. If I look as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. Heh heh heh. My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Because of the great Ganondorf, it is a fine time for a business like this. Heh heh heh. Only I can ho only hope the world world yet gets even worse. The ghosts called Poes are spirits on, of concentrated hatred that appear in the fields and graveyards. They hate the world. Young man, if you get your Poe, I'll pay a lot of money for it. Heh heh heh. All right, so I guess we have to give him all of our, our Poes. Oh, you brought a Poe today. Hmm. Very interesting. This is a big Poe. I bu I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I'll put 50 points on your cards. If you earn 1,000 points, you'll be a happy man. Hey. <laughs> oh, we got 50 rupees for that. Nice. I guess it's like a way of getting rupees while doing this. No, I'm not going to read this. It just says, says the same thing. What? I guess I didn't do that for the first time I gave it to him for some reason. Now let's equip our next Poe. We're gonna have to do this every single time we get catch three Poes. It's kind of annoying, but at least we're getting a lot of rupees. Alright, now let's leave. And I'm gonna cut until we get to the next Poe that we have to find. Alright, so we are here next to the grave... Next to the... I'm, I'm not great. Gerudo Valley, sorry. And uh, there is one. I'm not aiming for this Poe in particular, but I'm go just going to see if I can actually get it. Because this is one of the harder ones you can try to get. Alright, I guess it's not showing up that time. So you actually want to run up here. Why isn't it working? I guess you have to run at it from the right side of the tree. Not the left. Come on, dang it! Whoa! Ah, uh, yep, that one goes away really fast. Come on, what the heck? Why isn't this one working?
Oh, yes. Oh, come on! Uh. Oh, yes. No, dang it! Of course this doesn't work. Not gonna get that one yet. I'm wasting so many arrows. Please, let a pole show up. Like no arrows to work with now. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to get more. I don't have any arrows and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I did it at the right angle and I finally got it. I just had to buy more arrows. You can buy more at a certain shop right next to getting to Death Mountain Trail at Kakariko. And uh, yeah, I'll put a bow in there and uh, I'll meet you guys back until I find the next bow. Okay, so I've been trying to get this one like also, but this is this is one of the more like harder ones, so hopefully I can Oh he doesn't even show up, so let's like go around possibly. take a while. I know that 
sometimes it's kind of like an easy way to do this, but if you get up over here, it might actually show up. He isn't though, for some reason. Oh yes! Come on! This is literally the hardest one to get. I did it! Awesome! Finally! Oh wow! Okay, let's... let's grab it. Let's catch it. Wow, I actually surprised I actually surprised I got that. And okay, so we have two now, so I'm gonna meet you guys back until I get another one. Alright, so we're here in like this part of Hyrule, and I think one of these bushes, if you go through it, there will be another that appears or not oh. Ugh, dang it. it appeared but oh yes There we go. Wasted a few arrows, but at least we got it. Let's catch the Poe. Okay, now I'm gonna give these all these Poes back to the guy that we need to, so and I'm just gonna cut like do I'm not gonna show that all because I already showed it, so I'll meet you guys back to where I find the next Poe. Or we are back here, and I guess there's like two Poes in this like one area. One of these bushes you need to run through, and you need to try to find the right one. that I'm supposed to find isn't showing up. Uh, oh, there it is! Yes! Awesome! I got it! Nice! And I'll meet you guys back until I find the next one. Alright, so we're here next to this like silver like boulder right here. I think we need to run across it. Alright, here we go. It's also probably one of the more easier pose to get. There we go. And now, to get the next one, we're right away really close to the next one. So, I think if you run along this... Y shape thing. Nope. Uh, I guess we have to go over to like this uh, edge right here and wait. Oh, we have to like wait again. I don't even know how 
how to get it. Like, the other way you can try to get it is like go along this the edge of here. Oh! God dang it! I got one hit on it, but of course I didn't actually get it. Awesome! Yes, unfortunately I'm gonna have to go buy more arrows, so... I need to get give the, the arrow, the, the, the post to the guy anyway. So let me meet you guys back until I can find the last Poe. The last Poe, so I'll be right back. Alright, so in case anyone's curious to, to where you need to go to get more arrows in this place if you, if you ran out, just go to this, uh, bazaar. Like, like, this is where he like put up shop. Like he was he was in the Hyrule Castle Market as a when we were kids, but now uh, this is where we can buy some more, more arrows. And I just wanted to show that real quick. <laughs> All right, so we are close to where the last Poe is that we can get, and, uh, and it right away disappeared. So what we need to do to make this easier for us, we need to turn around. Okay, here he is. Yes, I did it! Awesome! I finally beat it! Okay, so I've tried to get this Poe like the other way, like like waiting. Like, like wait, waiting across like that area, like they would come. It's like impossible to get it that way. So just like waiting on that corner, like facing the wall. That's like pretty much the hardest way you can actually get it. I actually got it like the easiest way that you possibly could get that last Poe. Now we're going to turn in this last po. Alright. And uh wait, I guess we have to uh, flip it. The bottle that the pose in. Oh, you brought a Poe today! Hmm, very interesting. This is a big Poe. I'll buy it for 50 rupees. On top of that, I'll put 100 cards on your, points on your card. If you earn 1,000 points, you'll be a happy man. Hey, hey. Wait a minute. Wow! You have earned 1,000 points. The young man, you are a genuine ghost hunter. Is that what you, what you expected me to say? Hey, hey, hey. Because of you, I have extra inventory, inventory of big Poe, so this will be the last time I can buy one of these ghosts. You're thinking about what I promised you would happen when you earned 1,000 points. Hey, hey. Don't worry, I didn't, don't worry, I didn't forget, just to take this. And just like that, you get our last empty bottle. It probably wasn't worth it to do this whole side quest, but just for completion's sake, I really wanted to get that last empty bottle, so... Yeah, we now have four empty bottles, which is really nice, so I'm just gonna replace it with something else. Wait, hang on. Alright, there we go. And actually, guys, I'm gonna end off this episode right now. Sorry, this like part took too long, like longer than normal. But I just really wanted to get the post post catching side quest done in this part. So, guys, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and post a comment about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more of my Let's Play 4: The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time 3D. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.